All right, guys, as you guys know, the Triple Cone Cup season three has officially started. And yesterday, I did not do a live stream, so I did not really log on till later in the day. But when I logged on, the first reaction I got when I actually opened this up was, what in the world is going on? First of all, okay, Scovillia is number one again, all right? And then the second of all, of course, is that the score has not changed at all. Of course, it's going to be Scovillia first, Krem Knights second, as well as Parfidia third, all right? But the thing that really surprised me the most and uh, got a really, uh, you know, not a, not a very family-friendly reaction from me was the actual seasonal tournament that we have going on and the seasonal tournament that we have for season three is a school prosperity tournament like what the heck is this all right so on youtube recently uh nd runner has also put up a video talking about this issue and i think it's a huge issue that dev sisters really need to address for this particular event because this event is absolutely just garbage all right the reason why i say this is because if you guys look at this here it's going to be a scoring based on what your prosperity point is right now. If you guys already know, prosperity is going to be a thing that's going to take you guys a very, very, very long time. Why? It's because of the fact that you need to do all of the little things in order for you to actually increase your prosperity points. And you guys can see as a whale, as a person who spends money on this game, currently right now for me i am still in level 24 and a majority of you guys who are free to play or you know casual players are not gonna be even close to that level all right and that is going to be me at top 1.2 percent and even with that all right the score that i get is going to be a total of 11,000, and that is not even all right that is not even the top five percent or top one percent all right as a player who has spent money and who has been playing for over two years how is a new player ever supposed to contribute all right a good enough points or you know enough points to even earn something from this particular event it's getting even worse and worse and worse all right at least for the torch dash people were able to play people were able to you know contribute their time and effort and gain some points uh, for the trade dash, you're at least able to trade in your resources and things like that. Of course, it is harder for the New York players, but at least they were able to do something with it. And there was a reward that came with it. However, for this one, it's just absolutely just the dumbest idea that I've seen. Like, this is going to be a event and a seasonal event right now that has nothing to do with any of the returning player, newer players, you know, uh, casual players at all. This has to be a thing that is going to be for the players who have actually taken the time as well as even spent money and has been playing for a very very long time there's no incentive for the newer players to even try for this particular event right now that is going on for a whole seven seasons what in the world is Death sisters doing with the problem that we already have with the unfair scoring with the arena ranking as well as a school ranking there being absolutely no difference in scoring whether you put effort or not and also now that we have something like this coming out for a seasonal tournament where effort really doesn't even matter at this point. And on top of all of the things that are happening within Dev Sisters and also with Oven Break, I don't know what Dev Sisters is planning. I don't know why they are trying to kill their own game with the unfair events going on. Uh, there is really no incentive for any newer players to try and even participate and put effort and time or even, you know, a good thing for the company is to spend money for this game. At this point, for me, it seems like the game is telling you you have to spend money to play the game or even participate in particular events that are going on that are supposed to encourage players to play the game rather than forcing them to play and spend money to actually get something done, all right? So I don't know what Desters is planning. Apparently, there has not been anything that came up within the neighbor cafe where majority of the players are communicating with the company as well as the community manager. And I know that already English community as well as myself have made numerous points on why this event is absolutely bogus and absolutely just garbage in general. But of course, uh, Dev Sisters have not done anything to address this issue. I know in the past that Dev Sisters have done a lot to actually fix things that they think that it is not fair or things that, uh, you know, players have actually addressed in the past. However, for this particular event already reaching season three, they are not doing anything about this particular event and it's still going to be a huge, huge issue. 
and just in general there's really no point of actually trying to do something even the five foot of flag seems kind of just absolutely just disgusting in my opinion just because of the fact that yes although you're able to go and uh, get some extra scoring by playing the arena but that's also for players who have a bunch of mileage points bunch of tickets or even have spare money to spend on tickets uh, there's no way for any of the new players or even the casual players or even the free to play uh, normal regular players to catch up to the amount of score that a lot of the players are having. Once again, guys, I've actually mentioned this in my live stream, but I don't really care whether Parfidia is first or second or third. That is not a huge issue for me because I don't need the amount of crystals that they're giving out. However, for any of the casual players, as well as new players and, you know, free to play players, this makes a difference. And when an event is absolutely just unfair and there is absolutely no way for your efforts to actually pay off i believe that this is a huge issue and something that needs to be fixed and needs to be addressed by dev sisters quickly before it reaches a point where you know just players just don't care about new events anymore and that is just going to hurt the game even further but uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think um i think this is an issue that i need to also address uh, for the English community as well. I know Andy Runner has also made a video like I mentioned in the uh, beginning, but I completely agree with him as a person who has been playing the game for over two years now and seeing the ups and downs of Cookie Run Kingdom. I really believe that this is an event uh, that is not even a short duration, but a very, very long one and almost a half a month long event uh, that, you know, players should be excited for, but it's not because of how unfair and uh, just trashy it is so yeah i hope the dev sisters does something but let me know down in the comments below once again guys of what you guys actually think about this event thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all on the next one